Technicians know that the clutch is the heart of manual transmission performance. From a standstill, the friction generated by the clutch disc squeezing against the pressure plate and flywheel must overcome the inertia of the vehicle to get it rolling. The clutch must also engage smoothly without excessive chatter or slippage. To allow the driver to shift gears, the clutch must then be able to disengage the engine smoothly from the transmission. And when the clutch fails, you probably won't get the vehicle rolling again without the assistance of a tow truck. Replacing the clutch set is a straightforward job. Yet sometimes new issues can be created if the tech is in a rush and is not paying close attention to the installation process. This tech tip comes from Luke, where the following tech installation error has caused numerous calls to tech support after a clutch and pressure plate replacement has occurred. Proper alignment of the clutch disc and the pressure plate to the flywheel is a critical part of a successful clutch replacement. This can be achieved with using the correct alignment tool supplied with your Luke Rep Set clutch kit. However, there is another alignment that can be overlooked when servicing some GM clutch replacement kits. The pressure plates on these kits have drive strap rivets that can cause the transmission to stay disengaged if not properly lined up with the reliefs in the flywheel. Unfortunately for a technician not paying close attention, the pressure plate bolts can still be installed and torqued to specifications. Essentially, this locks the pressure plate to the flywheel, rendering the clutch disc useless. The only solution to fix this is to remove the pressure plate and reinstall correctly on the flywheel. And lastly, Never use an impact gun to tighten the bolts on a pressure plate. Always use a torque wrench and tighten the bolts as directed in the correct sequence instructed by the service procedures. Remember, not all clutches are the same and not all installation procedures follow the same set of installation instructions. It is important to review all service information and carefully inspect all new components prior to replacement to ensure a simple mistake doesn't make you do the same job twice. Thanks for watching. See you next time.